Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll. And tonight I come to you with another doll changing. This will be number four, but 26 to go after I get her done. Now, um, this is Freckles. Um, this was gifted to me by um, Janet in Iowa. And I'm going to change her into a real cute little outfit I have here. It is on the newer side, but it will look really nice. And I'm going to show you how I... Um, take care of these small waists and everything on these dolls and they're hard to fit when it comes to certain clothing because they're very very they, they slim in like they um have like bosoms and then they they have like a, a little bit more mature of a body i don't understand it because they look like little girls but they got a more matured body so it's kind of a different situation but anyways how to fit this tiny waist in something that's really big like this and I, I imagine her next outfit I'm going to put on her is going to do the same so I'll show you little tricks I have you know to try to slim that waist down and not have all this material baggy now sometimes a little baggy outfit doesn't doesn't hurt and it looks good and then there's other times you go no that just doesn't look right so anyways the outfit I have for her is sitting right here I think it will fit her it's a little fall outfit a little short all and it has sunflowers on it and again i've had this for a while i paid 13 dollars for it and um, i've had it for quite some time just sitting and waiting to be put onto this doll i have a bunch of these brand new outfits i bought years ago these are not things i just bought recently these are things from a few years ago that i picked up and i just you know are digging through my my all, i'm not buying anymore right now i've got too much so I, i'm going to use what i have and um I figured if I'm going to do this, I got to start using, I've got enough. And that's what I'm trying to say. I have enough to put together a nice fall display. And so this is what I'm going to put together. And I, I think it's going to look really nice out there with all our colors. And um, hopefully the leaves will be changing somewhat by then. And we can just have a fun time with the dolls out there, outside. And even if it is a little bit on the nippy side, we're not, these are dolls, doesn't matter, right? So we can get by on that. Now, where did I put those scissors? I guess I'll, oh, they're right here. So we're gonna cut this off. And um, get this off the hanger. Oh my goodness, it's all tethered on here. Oh no, not too bad. I get, oh yeah, it is. Gotta cut it again. All right, there we go. Now, what is this strap on here? I guess it goes across your back. Okay, what size am, am I dealing with here? Well, this is a six to nine months. I'm going to hope it fits her um, good enough for her. But let, let's just get it on her and then we'll decide what we're going to do. If I'm going to keep this on her. So this one here is not the one I worked on her legs. I have another outfit for her. Now, I thought at times, should I just dress them like twins? You know, but I'm like, ah, nah. I'm going to, I got so many different clothes. I want to get them on these dolls. And buying and if i have to go out that means i gotta buy the two the same and that starts to get a little bit pricey and then i start thinking that could be a doll i could be buying you know and i got when well, i got a whole house full of clothes that i should be getting on them so you see my my plight that i'm gonna get up against so you do what you gotta do and deal with it and i'm happy with where it's heading here so there we go okay oh you know what <laughs> this is looking pretty good on her i may not have to Wow, I am really pleased with this outfit. Oh, that is nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's show this off. We're going to stand her up. Oh my word. I, I may not have, I might do a little bit of sculpting. Okay, I'm going to show you what I do in the back of this. When I have an outfit that's really big, like, like it's still big, all I do is scoop it in and you just take a little bit of a clothespin like this. Okay, and that's what I do. And I just just bend it like just take in what I feel I need to take in because I might want I don't want to sew this for her because the next year I might want to put it on a doll that's bigger and that will fit it properly so for this year this will be for her now let's turn her around and see how it looks see how nice that looks on her it gives her a very nice look very trim look isn't that cute on her so I think this is this is going to be really a nice outfit for her and um, I'm pleased with it so when I get her out in that backyard this year, let's get her legs positioned more downward. There we go. There. That's where she needs to be. I think she's going to just look lovely out there in this outfit. Oh, my word. 
it's nice to get some of these on her on my dolls I, I it's just something I've been just sitting back on and just not dealing with but I'm, I'm happy to get back into my dolls again and um, oh there we go now maybe I'm looking at maybe putting one back down further another clothespin so I could see another clothespin going right here so I'm going to grab another one of just a clothespin let's see if I, I got a whole bunch of them back right behind me here let's get it let's use clothespins instead so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here I'm put my camera down okay so you can see this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this just gather it up and like I say I, I would love to sew this up for her but the thing is, is that I might use this on a, a different doll. And I don't want to um, make it just for her. Okay, now let's take a look at that on her now. Let's take a look how well that fits her. Isn't that nice now? We're not going to see back behind her. We're just going to see the front of her. So that is nice on her. But like I said, we turn her around and this is what we're looking at. Well, this is what we're looking at here. See, that, that's the problem. But we're not looking at that when we do her pictures outside. So we'll be looking more at this, this angle of her. This is where we're going to be looking at her. So I love it. I think it's beautiful on her and it works. Oh my goodness. Yes. Very nice. It goes very nice with her hair coloring too. So Freckles, you have your outfit now. You're looking great. Let's get her sitting up here like this. She's a great doll to sit as well. Let's get her sitting. There we go to get her a little bit better oh there we go there we go and she's sitting very nice so she has an she can even sit very nice too and there she is sitting very nicely oh yeah she looks very nice and you just you don't have to brush her hair all the time just fingering it down to get it to go where you want it to go it's very nice hair it's been washed and cleaned and she looks really nice and ready for the autumn now get her some sunflowers around her and she'll look just spectacular all right and then after that, I like I tell you, out, off these go and on go the Halloween costumes. I'm not sure all the dolls I'm dressing up for Halloween, but um, there we go. Another one dressed. I hope you like what you're seeing here. Um, now, I'll be doing more hair things. I just, because they're going to be set away for a while. So when the time comes, I'll be putting hair pieces into their hair. Maybe little purses. I'm, you know, a lot of different things will be going on. I'll be going through my, my stuff here to, to show her and... A little bit better than what you're seeing right now it's just that when I put her to the back those things seem to get broke or they get lost or stepped on or something where I store them so it's better just to keep the hair things off of them until the time comes so anyways I'm excited about her, her outfit hope you are too thank you for joining me and all the kind comments that all of you have been leaving along the way and if you're new here hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can see upcoming videos and leave a comment down below if you like to um i love reading them and i do read them all i read every one of them and i may not answer to you right away or or give you i'll give you a thumbs up and everything else i'll let you know that i have read it and when i've read it i, I give you the heart and i give you the thumbs up or whatever it is there and to tell you i've been there and i've been reading um your comment so i read everybody so not a problem there so um feel free to even want to ask a question i'm i'm here for that just as well so thanks for joining me more to come and um see you in very soon bye bye